We good? Y'all can hear me? Congrats on the 500K. I appreciate that, Terrence. Thank you. Let me move this over so I can see it. Loud and clear. Okay, good. How's everyone doing? It's early. I know how I do this. I'm not, I'm not going to, you know, um, let this continue. Like as far as me doing this early, um, most likely I'm trying to work this towards the uh, evening hours, but, uh, my children, I got to work some things out, you know, to a point where my children are cool at the same time. I'm not trying to put them to bed, but I'm gonna need a couple. We'll see. <laughs> but yeah, so it's early. So it's about. Six o'clock for the uh, Eastern time, five o'clock central. Why is this thing saying? Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah. All right, so YouTube running on a slight delay. I hope everything is coming out clear. You know, um, the 7 p.m. in the Philippines. Wow. Y'all getting ready to, or just had dinner or getting ready to have dinner. 5 or 6 a.m. Crystal clear, very clear. 3 a.m. on the West Coast. My apologies. <laughs> Break fast. Grand Rising, OCO, OCO. 607 in Michigan. Shout out to Michigan. Shout out to California. Shout out to Texas. I see you. Dallas, Texas in the building. Atlanta in the building. Is Atlanta on East Coast? I can't, I can't remember. I think Atlanta on East Coast, right? Five oh seven and what? Oh, Kansas City, Missouri. You, you made a typo. Oh, let me make this larger so I can see it. Okay. Yeah, so I'm testing something out um, before I make a purchase because um, it looked like I'm gonna have to make a purchase here to for what I'm getting ready to do. See, I'm so used to utilizing my GoPro and my um, and my drone for when I do travel and put stuff on camera and stuff like that. But this is a Canon uh, camera that you all are seeing right now. So I'm still working the kinks out. I remember how it used to cut off for me. So somebody reached out to me and shout out to you, uh, reached out to me and told me exactly what to do in order for it to not shut off while I'm live streaming. So now it's not going to do that, um, which is a good thing. <laughs> but I'm going to have to get some upgraded equipment here. You know, mainly I just do the editing. But since I'm hitting the road again, I'm going to need some better equipment. There's some things I want you all to see. We got to take a look at that Grand Canyon again. 608 in VA. What's going on, VA? Bronx, New York. What's going on? Florida. How you doing? Philadelphia, PA in the building. Barstow, Cali in the building. Colorado in the building. Louisiana. Oh, no. Louisville, Kentucky. Shout out from Germany. What's going on, Germany? Peace and love from Wales, UK. What's going on, UK? West Virginia. 
Richmond VA, a lot of Richmond VA. Lot of West Virginia. Oh, okay, the mounds. Yeah. We got property in West Virginia. We got lands and, and beautiful mountains. Dallas, Texas in the building. Uh Minnesota in the building. North Carolina. No Kakalaka in the building. Jamaica Kingston in the building. We gotta head back to Jamaica. I ran into a gentleman. I'm not sure if he's gonna see this, but I went to the post office and um trying to get my younger kids passports because we're getting ready to do some serious work <clears throat> because I want to bring, you know, of course it's going to be a while. So we want to bring our children and things like that. So the guy, I don't know if he was the manager or something like that, but he recognized me and he was like, Dane Calloway. I was like, yeah. And he said that he was nervous and I was like, don't be, this is me in the flesh. You know what I'm saying? He, uh, reached out, gave me a hug and everything. He appreciated everything I was doing. And, um, you know, I had two of my children with me and my wife. So, I mean, you know who you are, brother. I appreciate the love. And he was telling everybody there what was going on. And um, and they, they showed love. They were really supporting me out there, getting me, cutting me in a line and everything. And so maybe I'm not supposed to say that, but some of them white folks was mad. You know, they was looking like, um, who is this nigga? <laughs> but yeah, they got me up out of there, in and out. And I appreciated that. But yeah, my younger children, like uh, for you all, you know, that's talking about passports and how to do that thing. Let me know if you want me to, you know, show you how it's done as far as the children is concerned. I mean, it's the same way for adults as well, but uh, the children, I believe, only go for five years. I could be wrong. It's not as long, you know, especially if you want to, you know, carry the card and the booklet. I highly suggest it that don't don't worry because as soon as soon as we get everything together you know as far as my younger children are concerned you'll see and i'm gonna put it on screen for those that can't do it i got you so i'm gonna be visiting places like wells uk and the, the jamaica queens like jamaica queens kingston jamaica jamaica queens is in new york if, for those that don't know <laughs> I mean, New York is, I mean, I, I visit all the time in New York. Shout out to New York. Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. I sold my property out there. North Carolina is beautiful. Huge. You were if you never visited North Carolina, I mean, all of North Carolina, huge state, huge. And just think that there's a South of that same state, which is South Carolina. Man, North Carolina is huge. You will never think that. I don't even know if I have any. Uh, okay, there you go, King Third. What's going on, brother? Yeah, Southside Jamaica Queen. That's where you from, King Third? Hey. Look at all these feathers, they not. King Third, I would hate to ask you to do that and you the only moderator in here, but they these feathers are not being shown, y'all. Some of them are being blocked. I brought this up to YouTube multiple times. They just blocking the feathers left and right. Southeast Texas in the building. Durham, North Carolina. Oh, go back. Go back on my videos. I went to Durham. I said Durham. I went to Durham. That, that's how it's pronounced. Durham, North Carolina. Durham is beautiful, but it has since changed since it's been, you know, gentrified and redlined. I did a full documentary on that. Um, I actually did a little movie slash documentary on it as well. Well, close to, well, no, 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 no. It's not close to Durham. I went to uh, Asheville and visited the areas where the people that were getting pushed out because of the race wars. I started interviewing the people that own businesses out there. That's on my website. If you're looking for that, because YouTube did not like that. It stayed up there for a while. And then YouTube was like, uh, -uh. so I had to take that one down. It's about, I forgot how long it is. It's pretty lengthy. I'm still going to be doing that. I'm holding on to a lot of footage I already captured, but, um, like I said, I'm looking at two investing into better equipment as far as cameras and everything so i could do more traveling and start putting people on camera if they're willing 
like if you're willing to get on camera and tell your story especially if you have elders in the family go to my website um www i'm just here to make you think dot com and go to the contact and send an email to my team and detail that you you know one of your family members are willing to be interviewed or you are willing to be interviewed and you know we could probably work something out and i could come visit you don't don't we're gonna <laughs> i know certain people will be like boy i'm a we gonna have the doors open for you and you don't gotta go extra miles or nothing like that i'm not i appreciate the you know the hospitality but you know we, we come in a visit and um yeah just uh you know just just get ready for you know, hopefully the person is a great person uh, you know i'm not trying to get involved with no troublemakers and nothing like that i'm not trying to interview no ex-drug dealers and you know i'm trying to interview people that actually did their thing that was making a you know legit money with the legit business i'm, I'm not trying to say that hustling or whatever slinging whatever isn't a business but it just wasn't legit and i don't want to glorify that on my channel especially with children are watching www.i'm just here to make you think.com click on contact and um it, it it's a drop down is it a drop down i forgot what it is now but it allows you to fill it out and it goes directly to my team what's that okay arlington alabama what's going on alabama that thing I need to slow it down on my side. Yeah. My apologies, King Third. They, I know they blocking the feathers. Don't forget, y'all. Y'all could do turtles, feathers, bow and arrows, tomahawks, anything to represent us as the indigenous people. Um, Omax, you know, they got Omax statues in there too. Mobile Alabama, what's going on? I was out there too. Video on Mobile Alabama two times, actually. Um, the second video I, we didn't put out, we were waiting for somebody to hop out there, like um, some little glorified historical association to hop out there and lie, but we put it to rest during the first video. It's on the channel. Hold on, I didn't. I missed that. Government set our people up with the drug game in the '80s, dang yeah. Also had our people addicted to the crack. Yep. Yep. It actually started in the '70s and it got real bad in the '80s. Mm-hmm. They knew what they were doing. Just like they know what they're doing now. Dropping crates of guns off in certain areas. Handing it to them young boys out there just so they could kill each other. Where you think they're getting these guns from? <laughs> you think they about to walk into a gun store at 16 years old and able to get a gun? You got another thing coming here. And how are they going to rob somebody without a gun? to get a gun think about it Fred Slaughter thank you for subscribing I appreciate that Cleveland Heights Ohio on the building Charlotte North Carolina yeah they go to OMAC Christopher Houston yeah that's the OMAC statue that's that's us y'all it's indigenous to us the mayans pre-colonial times we were already we were already civilized before any foreign influence piscataway shout out to the piscataway indians oh baltimore yeah that makes sense that was baltimore 
parts of Maryland, technically, yeah. DC. The Scottaway Indians on that turf. And the Anacostians. Anacostian Indians. My folks out Southeast DC should know this already. Mongolia, Arkansas. Hit the like button. Yeah, hit the like button if you choose. Hit the like button if you choose. Turtle Island, all oh, Turtle Island. Yeah, that's right. OCO family. OCO live by the truth. OCO. Columbus, Ohio. What's up, Terrence? How you doing? Louisiana, talk to in the building. What's going on? Chat tie. Shout out to Coolio. May he rest well. I didn't want to talk about it, but I think I think something else happened to Coolio. I think something else happened. I think it's deeper than what I could confirm, basically. So I can't get into it and, you know, get all in conspiracies and stuff like that. I can't do it because I can't verify. I was on my way of finding out, you know, but before we could officially link, he passed away, but may he rest well, man. Good brother. They killed him. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I really do. I really do because well, That that just that that was like left field. That I, that was nowhere near expecting. And he was doing well, just getting off tour, man. Just just getting off tour. I was just about to go meet him again. Well, you know, officially, like face to face. Yeah, Coolio was woo. Coolio was about to expose it, y'all. Oh my God, y'all. Mm. Coolio was not afraid neither. Yeah, Rex, who? That guns and ammo. Yeah, continuously. Yep. Yeah. I don't know who that person is. Rex Morgan in Winston Salem, North Carolina. I don't know who that person is, but I know Winston Salem, North Carolina. Oh, you're saying your name. Okay, I just realized that. <laughs> they dumping guns on ammo. Yeah. Yeah. He could he just randomly died. Mm-hmm. It was weird. Weird. That was so weird, man. Hey brother, you know the DC Go Go dancing is extreme. Of course. Absolutely. I did a segment on that. There's a lot of dances that we do that we have been doing for years and we just call it different things. Sorry for shaking the table. That's why you see the mic doing that. I'm, I'm actually hitting the table right here. But um, yeah, uh, like uh, what's that? Damn, what is that other dance that they got in Memphis? But um, it's similar to ours like in DC they uh we call it beach of feet but it's a bunch of stuff dealing with feet and hands that we do a lot like on the west coast they they got their i forgot what it's called but they got their own dances out there too it's all similar it's all similar but um yeah man it's yeah jugging jugging or jucking yeah that's that's in memphis but um we all been doing this for a while, but people just don't pay attention. And you know what some people would do? Some people would say, we got that from Africa. We got that from what African tribe we get that from. We were naturally born with that. What African tribe came over here and we copy. Think of one, pick one. What African tribe came over here and we copy. No, it didn't happen like that. What? Oh, the stream. Here go YouTube again. If it's the land, it's not me, y'all. 
510, Oakland, California. What's going on, Oakland? Hey, um, the brother from Oakland, what's the name of y'all dance out there? Like, I mean, of course we, oh, for example, the crib walking. Like, for example, I'm just saying, come on, y'all. What, what, what African tribe doing that? And there's certain people out there in DC think the Congos and bongos and all that stuff started in Africa. I'm just like, okay. Yeah, we got this from Africa. We were all, all of us were in the drums. Everybody, that's one thing that we got in common globally. <laughs> all of us were into the drums. We're into the beat with the vibration of the drum. Similar to the vibration of a heart. Similar to, listen, similar to the vibration of a heart. Similar to the vibration of a harp. You plucking strings. Anything, see, we, we ride off of frequencies, y'all. Anything that's going to elevate our frequency. Most of the time, we getting hype. Yeah, them Africans around a campfire, so were we. Dancing around in circles, however we want to do it. Look, you even see the same thing in churches. When they getting happy, they get the, all of a sudden, they get the happy feet. It's the same thing. People just ain't pick up on it. We do this all the time, <laughs> all the time. Man, I got one of my drums in here. I'm not gonna make it super early. I'm not gonna do that now. But if I, I'm telling you, if I play my drums right now, y'all go crazy right now. But no, nah, it's too early. Catch me on another time. I play it for you. Yeah, it's no disrespect to Africans, yeah. They doing their thing. We got our thing too. They were not the only ones on drums. Energy, frequency, vibration. Absolutely. Like shout out to my people in South America. You, you think they got that from Africa too? <laughs> like really? What's the one when I go um, to certain parts of the Caribbean islands um, that steel drum? What is the steel drum called, y'all? Is it a specific name for it? But I love that sound, y'all. I love that. Nee, 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 nee. I love that. Uh, oh, I, I, honestly, as soon as I hear that drum, I just want some pineapple juice and like, <laughs> I want something to relax. I want a lounge chair. I need to be in front of a beach. And when I hear that, my wife going past in a bikini. You know. <laughs> all right, all right, I went too far. I'm going to let me drop a bomb for that. Let me, let me drop a bomb for my wife. Y'all Y'all know how I do. Yeah, the still drums. I love those. I thought it was I, I thought it was like a name for it, like I could have sworn somebody like called it something else other than a steel drum. Look at the ladies laughing at me. I know how I do. The men like, come on, don't be doing that. No, come on, man. Look, you gonna big up Nicki Minaj and Cardi B. I'm gonna big up my wife. She got a thing just like them. And it ain't paid for. All natural, baby. Um, I mean, but she gonna see this. And I might have to take this down, y'all. <laughs> Australian stopping grounds is our drum, brother. I need to take a trip out Australia, but I'm, I'm familiar with certain things. Like we even favor some of them. Um, as far as looks are concerned, I need to take a trip. I've never been to Australia. I need to take a trip there. That's on a list for sure. That's on a list for sure. Cattle drums. Kettle drums is is that what the steel pan? I can't look it up. It's called a steel pan. Oh yeah, and what's the name of the other drum? Um, I played it 
on one of my videos who was the name of that video but it was talking about uh oh here we go i can't even say it's talking about the yeah that you get in your yeah when you feel like you yeah i can't believe i gotta talk like that it's talking about the vaccine but um the the drums that i played it was a girl doing it with her hands and it was do 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 that i want to get one of those drums as well i I just don't can't remember what it's called but somebody have will have to make them like they're custom made like i don't want the stuff off of amazon i want you know i might have to hit up etsy real quick and get it custom made and they can range between 700 to over a thousand dollars but they're beautiful no nah, not bongos it's um it's a special instrument no nah, not a snare drum oh man mm. that made me want to go on my my videos and play it because i i gotta i gotta find that no nah, it's not the congos it's not the congos it it it, remi it makes the same sound as a steel drum but it's tuned and certain parts of the drum makes a specific like you could do 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 like it'd go like similar to how like but you would have to tune a congo for high mid and low and the steel drum you could hit certain areas and do 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 but it's at a certain i hope i explained it properly because it could vary but it has all those particular sounds in it ramba that may be it that sound like no nah, no nah. it does sound like a yeah kind of like a zap oh marimba that might be it hold on, let me look that up let me look that up quickly that might be it i gotta use my cell phone let me see no not this no nah, not this what is the name of that drum man hold on somebody else said uh go back up not the marimba i i saw the marimba not that it's a drum but it looked like a like it could be like a uh it looked like a fire pit with a top on it that's the best way i could explain it so it is in a circle let me look up rumba somebody said rumba Nah, not that. Mm, hold on, somebody about to say it. Huh? Tongue drum, hold on. tongue drum. Let me see. Tongue, yeah, tongue drum. Let me see. Stop. Yes, this is it. The tongue drum. This is it this is it this is what i want to buy this is beautiful y'all this is beautiful it is called the tongue drum because of the the frequencies that it that it outputs man y'all like that thing it calms you down it puts you in a different mode it i might even see if i could purchase a track with that type of music on it because it's it's calming it's soothing it relaxes you kind of sort of like how the steel drum does but at the same time depending on how they play the steel drum you might get hype you might want to dance like any other drum you know but the war drums and stuff like that like congos and bongos and you know um timbales drum sets stuff like that is going to get you hype you know and of course we going off of that vibration that's why a lot of us as far as the niji is concerned we like bass we love bass lines like if you notice that's why we gravitate to the music that have the most bass um but and that's that's within our bloodline like but this particular one the tongue drum man thank y'all for telling me about that yes it's called the tongue drum it's beautiful y'all no kidding i'm not even it's beautiful man like I, I wish i could play something i'm not sure if it's gonna be copyrighted or what but the tongue drum is absolutely beautiful but i played this um 
this woman sent me her video on Instagram and uh, and she was talking about something else and she was oh she was talking about spirituality and I asked her I said hey can I can I use this video you know for uh, a video of mine and she said sure you know and I played it and because it was just she was just on a beach and I was like man and you heard the ocean oh man that was just perfect i was like man I, I, right there that's all i would want i'm a i'm a percussionist also baba rasan is he Ra, baba rasan is here Oh, see, oh, Elder, I appreciate you for being here. Oh, and don't forget Go Go. Uh, War said Congo, Tongo, Tobongo, San Diego. What's up with the Go? Don't forget Go Go. DC is Go Go. We play Go Go music. Turn said, look up pan. I mean, hand pan. Hold on, let me see. Hand pan drum. Yes, it's the same thing. What? It pulled up the same thing. Somebody got one for two thousand dollars on Sweetwater. Wait, so yeah, because it says tongue. Okay, so I'm guessing it's like tongue drum or tongue hand pan. Is that the official name for it? But he's right though. Yeah, somebody got one. I mean, I'm a one day. I'm a I'm a grab one of those. I'm gonna start the live stream off like that. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Instead of playing this Resident Evil music, see, I play certain Resident Evil musics because some may take it like it's being scary, but it's not. I'm actually playing the safe musics. Uh, or the safe zones of resident certain resident evil video games that I like that were calming to me You know, like when, when I know I'm in a safe, I come through that door. No zombies. I'm like everything good. This is the safe zone But that's how I look at it. Like when you come in here to the live stream, it's the safe zone There you go Barbara Ross and I appreciate you Yo, y'all, y'all gotta subscribe to Baba Rasa. The elder be going in. Like, I love him. <laughs> I love him. And uh and, and and elder, you from Louisiana, right? I just want to confirm that to make sure. So he got that accent too. And uh oh no, was it Louisiana? Oh New Orleans. New Orleans. I like how they say no, I think how they they say New Orleans differently. I can't even say it the way they say it. New Orleans. I try to. I can't say it the way they yeah. They say Louisiana like Louisiana, but I think the way they say New Orleans is different, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. He was he was born in New Orleans. Yeah, New Orleans. Yeah, y'all know. <laughs> that yo, I, every time I run into somebody, I'd be like, yo, just say New Orleans real quick. <laughs> That's my favorite part. Nolans. Yeah, I know I did a segment on that too, as far as the um, working on the railroad uh, with New Orleans actually means. If you don't remember that, let me know. I'll, I'll put that out. I would love to put that back out. I did the I did the research. I got the book downstairs in the library. I purchased from um, Princeton University and uh and and got the original script that's how i know they they cut the working on the railroad in half i I, call, I I told you guys it was called the levy song and then they took a verse out because they were trying to hurt uh, hide this part about what they meant about new orleans so uh if you would love for me to do that i'll hurry up and get that done i'll probably put that out what's today uh it's sun wait it's sunday hold on what my bad, y'all. This is embarrassing. Is it Sunday? Okay. 
Okay. I ain't know it was Sunday. <laughs> put it, put it up. Okay. Don't be laughing at me. Look, let me drop a bomb for me. For not knowing that it was Sunday. I could have sworn it was Monday, y'all. I could have sworn. So I apologize. I, look, I know it's early, early. Sundays is usually the day that y'all try to take a break and hey, I go live streaming super early. Yesterday was Saturday. Oh, okay. Just rub it in. Yesterday was Saturday. <laughs> Happy Sunday. Yeah, 504 New Orleans. Baton Rouge, Louisiana in the building. Yeah, I got a video coming out about these days. It's already done. Locked and loaded. We're going to drop it on the New Year's. All around that time. I ain't talking about January neither. That's already done. I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> knock that one out. But all right. So I remember that. I'll, I'll get ready to. I did not know today was Sunday. But um, one of my daughter's birthdays is today. So I know I'm not going to be able to get to her today because I'm going to have to take her out. And she's like the, the middle one. No, she's the youngest of my daughter, but she's in the middle. I mean, of my daughters, but she's in the middle of all of my children. So I'm going to have to take her out. You know. Do something with her. And I mean, we celebrate life every day. Don't get me wrong. We celebrate life every day, but I always want to do something special for them and celebration of them, you know, and uh, because of course they enjoy themselves every day, but I look at it like, well, it's special because I was blessed to be a part of your creation. And I want to thank you for being here. And that's how I look at it. That's how I look at it. Not necessarily the birthday cake and ice cream, typical traditional stuff. Just something fun. Louisiana, Indiana, Virginia, Georgia. Yeah. Just like um the majority of the girl uh uh the women that got the Isha in their name. That means something also. And don't go the African route neither, because I swear you're not going to get an Isha in Africa. <laughs> oh, man. Unless they were from here and moved to West Africa, in which that did happen by way of the American Colonization Society. Don't forget that a lot of those people out there were originally from here. Don't forget that <laughs> people people be forgetting that. Let me drop a bomb for that. It's up. Relax and take notes. Take notes. Take notes. Take notes. Keisha. It's a whole bunch of Isha's. You can name them. The Isha. Dysfunctional Denim and Tees LLC. Shout out to the brother for having his own LLC, putting it down. Go ahead and send some gear to my PO box. www. I'm just here to make you think .com. If it's good, I wear it on stream. That go for anybody. If y'all got a company and you looking, you know what I mean, and it look nice, and you put some work in it, send it to me. Send it to me. Why not? Why not? I'll be on stream. Yeah, such and such made this shirt. Yeah, go check them out. Website is blah, 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 blah. Don't worry about the money. I'm not looking to get paid from that. Just, just make sure your quality is good. Sha, Shay. But nah, nah. Nah, AJ, nah, I said Isha. Don't try to change the subject. Y'all holding on to Kimmit real tight, ain't you? Kimmit. 
you go out there and them people what's coming what is it <laughs> they don't know what you talk about them folks lighter than me welcome teacup views teacup views deja vu been a member for 20 months i appreciate that wait teacup how you get that color and you huh is this thing trip <laughs> nah come on y'all hit 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 oh lord here hit, hit go to you go to Pan Africans. Hi, hi Pan Africans. How y'all doing? I'm pretty sure y'all done made like 500. Your whole channel dedicated to me. Y'all mad because I'm waking people up, telling them, look, look. And why? Hold on. Why? Let me let me let me ask y'all Pan African something. Why are y'all so focused on Kemet when they told you? When you know this, how the story goes, that people were captured from West Africa, that ain't got nothing to do with Kemet. That's in North Africa. Why? Y'all know how silly y'all look. Yeah, Kemet was this, and no, we, but we we were reading the hieroglyphics, and and really, we were kings and queens, and. And I'm so mad because you know some of them racist white folk, you know what they would do? They would call us Afrocentrics. You know why? Because of the African American studies was originally called the Afro American studies. And which, hey, who was that? Texas? Who was that that just got rid of that? Somebody just got rid of that bandit. I forgot who it was. Somebody just banned it. Like, what was it? Yesterday? Day before yesterday? Good. Get rid of that. Get rid of it. You know what's going to be next? Black history. Let me tell you why. Every, like, from what I recall, Florida. Oh, people saying Florida. Good. Good. I'm going to tell you right now. Excellent. Because we did not come from Africa. Especially not no Kemet. We ain't come from nothing. I mean, no, shout out to our cousins, though. Technically, you know, I mean, in a way, I mean, okay, we share the same hue of complexion. In a way, it could be my cousins. It's like, what's up, cousin? But that don't mean that we blood related. Yeah, we might share some similarities, but that doesn't mean we are the same people. And we're not. We're not the same people. I've been saying this for years. I've been explaining this on my channel. If you do not know that I've been saying, I mean, I'm talking about and even in documentary format, go back on my channel. I highly suggest that you watch all my videos. I don't care how old it is. If it's still up there, watch them. Cause ain't near one of y'all talk about Franz Boaz or Melville Herskovics and debunked me yet about those two right there that started that movement out here. Well, Melville Herskovics, and I always get his name wrong purposely because of who he is. He streamlined that out of Africa theory. Y'all ain't know about none of that until Franz Boaz, the grandfather of anthropology in America, came around and started saying, oh, wait, wait, they look alike, so they must be from Africa. Hey, Melville, since you're one of my students, go visit and go see. <sighs> Meanwhile, one person in some part of West Africa, which is Ghana, right? Is claiming that now they apologize for being involved in slavery. So what they are admitting that they let their people go. They betrayed their people. But oh, wait, no, we'll give you free citizenship. Come on back. We're sorry. Now you trust them. What if they welcome you back just to for you to be captured somewhere else this time? Maybe Europe. 
Y'all hollering Africa ain't even go visit one time. And those that did visit went to Egypt. And those people lighter than me. It's the, it, that's sad, man. And y'all still holding on to that thing for dead life. And it was popularized in the 60s, in the 1960s. Was there nobody before that claiming that they were African? Nobody. <laughs> nobody. Until the 1960s rolled around, we weren't even called black. We didn't refer to each other as black. Unless we were like how we call each other nigga. Unless we were referring to each other that way, because it was a derogatory term. Sit your black ass down, five. It's just like saying, shut up, nigga. That's a you use it as a, you know, as a a form of profanity. And our people holding on to that. And how in the world, look y'all, and I just did a video on this about, first of all, it was California reparations task force. But wait a minute, y'all, no, 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 no. San Francisco is the only one that's possibly getting reparations. Not all of California, just San Francisco. Ooh, hold on y'all. Wait a minute, he's the governor of California. How y'all just gonna say, mm, all right, San Francisco. And then on top of that, they ain't named one type of slavery that happened out there. But no, residents in, in, in San Francisco may get $5 million each, but, but they got to make sure that they were claiming that they were black or African American for 10 years, not since 1865. They're not going to tell you that. Ooh. Not since 1865. They just said just the past 10 years. I was still in here 10 years ago. <laughs> That's recent. But you, you want them to pull up their records to see if they have any person that was in, in their family involved in slavery. But no, but one of the prerequisites but one of the requirements, one of the qualifications is that you had to have claimed that you were black or African-American for 10 years. Wait a minute. If we were black and African-American, why do I need to say that I was claiming black or African-American for 10 years straight? If we are black and African-American, how does that make... Like, okay, for example, like, for example, the, uh, the European Americans of the Jewish faith, l listen, listen to, listen to how I gotta say this. Sir. The European Americans of the Jewish faith, because they're not going to consider themselves Europeans. They're not going to consider themselves American Europeans. Oh, European Americans. They consider themselves Jews by way of faith. Right? Did they have to write down their faith and confirm, yeah, I'm I'm a Jew. I deserve reparations as a Jew. Did they have to do that? Wait, so is black and African American a religious belief? Another bomb. For the past 10 years, you telling me that it's almost like I had to be enrolled. Ooh, listen, enrolled as a black or African American in San Francisco. And did y'all hear the time periods they were given? All of it was in the 1900s, but the only thing that was in the 1800s was 18. You had to have an ancestor. 
1865. You had to verify. That's what's once again, this is one of the qualifications. That, that this is all in their proposal that they're trying to send up to the legislators in California. In San Francisco, by the way, not all of California. I'm like, but this is called the California Reparations Task Force. What about the whole California? Like, what what happened? What happened? Like, you the governor of California. Why why are you not? Doing the whole thing. Mm. Am I making sense? Your concern is about all so-called black Americans, allegedly. No, but well, why you narrowed down after all the, where was it? Since 20, what was, what was it since 2020? If I'm not mistaken, when did that task force didn't get in there, y'all? Was it 2020? I believe it was 2020. Since 2020, you were talking about California, 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 and then 2023. Your proposal, you were saying in 2022 that your proposal was coming. You know, you, you about to everybody get ready, and then when 2023 hit. It's only San Francisco. And it's called the California Reparations Task Force, not the San Francisco, California Reparations Task Force. What, what are they about? Now, somebody said I was looking at the comments and it was interesting. A lot of people were saying that the governor of California, which is Governor New Newsom, nuisance, nuisance, is trying to run for president. But everybody, yeah, hey, come on, y'all, he a Democrat. Let's get behind him. Let's come on. He, he, he about to give us reparations. Let's go. You don't think that's a trap? That don't sound odd to you. That don't sound off. Not only did they say 5 million for each so-called black American resident of San Francisco, they also said $97,000 per year for each person for 250 years. I thought to myself, I said, young, I swear to God, if they could produce some evidence of slavery happening in California. All okay, no, 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 no. Slavery happening in San Francisco. I get rid of my channel. Kapoof. Because the last time I checked, slavery wasn't all, and I said this before, slavery was not the way that we were told. Slavery was all about employment. Employment. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, y'all. Correct me if I'm wrong. The Civil War wasn't between the East and the West, right? It was between the North and the South. California and the West, hold on, hold on. Cause you know, they tried to add in some stories and tried to later on and tried to say the California help, but hold on, hold on. Let's not, let's not go to the new stories they tried to add in. Let's back up. The Civil War it was not the East and the West. It was the North and the South. The South departed from the Union States. The Union States didn't include California at all. The South. Said, no, 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 they detached themselves. 
made themselves a confederate or confederation a confederation of states that rebelled against the union it was all over a labor dispute they're not gonna say that though i put the video out put the evidence out if you don't believe me it's on the channel they gonna say it was over slavery the North wasn't so called wanted to get rid of slavery. The South wanted to keep it. You out of your mind. You really believe that? The, what, what makes you think the North wanted to keep? I mean, uh, wanted to get rid of slavery. How were they going to continue? You think about that, did you? How was it going to be business as usual if they got rid of slavery? No, they had a better idea. Listen, tell you what. Since you making money off of your employees, let's make sure the higher ups making money off of you and your employees. We want to implement this thing called uh, what is it called, y'all? Taxes. See, that's what happened. And right now, the employees play what? They pay local, federal, on their pay stub right now. Am I lying? It's still happening. Slavery is still happening. It didn't change. And the employee, the corporations got to cut a check to the IRS. Right, that's what the employee got to do to the IRS on that stub and say local federal right but how they do it they made a loophole in it that go to the employer the employer cut a check to the federal I told I talked about this before they double dipping you this shouldn't be a surprise That's why when you do overtime, they're going to get it right back in taxes. Maybe not that same month, but it's going to be within that month, within that same year bracket before that tax year run out. Guaranteed. They're going to get it back. Oh, you made some overtime? Oh, we're going to kick. We're going to collect that right back. Month six. You're not even going to know. You're going to you look at your check. Damn, why they tax me so hard this month? Wait a minute. Taxes fluctuate every month? Uh oh, Ooh, but when you go, for example, when you go buy something from Target or something and they put a, a sales tax, it's always the same, but it's it varies in each state, right? But it's always around about the same, right? It varies in each state, but all of a sudden you in the same state. You thought your check was looking the same, but all of a sudden you looking at your check and sometimes it, it just don't add up. You, 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 you know, I work longer this week. How in the world am I? They gonna tax you harder for working longer? Of course they are. And you know who they don't do this to? And the reason why we do deserve to have our land back and remove taxes is because they don't be taxing them foreigners that come over here like that, how they tax us. Guaranteed. We are taxed the worst out of everybody. And don't let you be in a red lined area. That's going to be even worse. And I mean that literally. Green, blue, and red. They mark those maps with green, blue, oh, and yellow, and red. Red lining. This is how the credit bureaus came about. This is how gentrification came about. This is how urban removal came about. 
This is how urban renewal came about. Don't forget, they had to remove you and then they renewed you into a new spot. Man, why that sound like a plantation? Oh no, not a plantation. That sound like a reservation. No, it's not a reservation. It's called the ghetto, dang. Ghetto. The ghetto. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Is, is, so it's not a reservation? Wait, wait, but I thought they reserved this for us. Urban removal. They kicked us out of our original areas and put us where they wanted to put. And put us where they wanted to put us. In the inner cities. Look how the spirit worked with me. And I hope you catching this. Now, and I ain't got nothing written down. I ain't, I got on here just to talk. But the spirit working me. And I let it happen. Whatever I say, the majority of the stuff I can't remember until I go watch. Apparently somebody needed to hear this. Because I didn't been over this already. But I know a lot of our people need to hear this. Because you looking for checks. When we need to be kicking people off of our land. Set it on fire. 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 It's go time, Slim. It's not even it's not even funny. I broke down how they took our lands when they took our lands. I even gave you verbatim government documents, time periods and all. There's no excuse. And all those people that's yelling and screaming, talking about Africa this, Africa that, go there. We not stopping you. <laughs> go to Africa, go live there. See if you can blend in. Ain't gonna be nobody standing there. Welcome, my brother. Or you are American. It's no problem. Everything you need is here. Everything you need. Follow me. And ain't gonna be nothing like that, Slim. You gotta get in where you fit in, just like everybody else out there. You think it's gonna be a way better living in Africa? They fooled the people like that. That will that went overhead and uh went on ahead and agreed with the American Colonization Society. I put this out already. They may pretend like it was gonna be a better way of living in West Africa because certain parts were not you know fully populated. That's it. But they were fully colonized by the French and the British. How was that better living? Oh, you're going to leave one colonized land to another one and think that's going to be a better way of living? That's why it was less than 15,000 of them that went. Everybody else was like, kick rocks. What Negro problem? Remember, they called it a Negro problem. Too many of us here. They were scared because we were rebelling, fighting. You hear me? Fighting. Kicking that ass. They were mad. They sent the missionaries in to soften us up. What are the missionaries, Dane? The people that brought the gospel? Go get my book, me and my wife's book. It was told in reverse. Get that book. The Congregation for Propagating the Gospel in Foreign Parts. Sent them in there. 
They were holding up Bibles. Jesus doesn't want you to fight. Let it go. Whatever's supposed to happen today is supposed to happen. No, Jesus said that we supposed to live here. This is what they were telling them. Huh? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You, you got your own spirituality? No, that's not the way. Christianity is the way. That's what they were giving us. That's what they were giving us. I'm not knocking the Christians as far as, you know, my people are concerned. They're about the truth, but you fully about the truth. You need to look this up. They use that same Bible that you got against our ancestors and said, you better learn it. Because that's the only book you're going to be able to read. Delete your culture, your traditions, your legacies, your language, and your spirituality. Here, here, nigga, take this Bible. Slowly but surely, those congreg those missionaries got together and created societies like the American Colonization Society. To force some Negroes out. The government approved it. They needed help. Because those folks was dying. Those little militant militia. They were dying. They not going to tell you about that, huh? Their backup was religion and they used it against us. They still do. Religion was used for in order for our people to submit. They tell you to submit to a higher power, but they never show you. I'm not going to go too far. They show you the higher power. You just don't know it. You so blind. You don't see that the higher power would have been them. Once again, I'm not knocking your faith. Stay here. Hold on. No, no, no. Don't go nowhere. I'm not knocking your faith. I'm not. This ain't got nothing to do with that. I ain't got nothing to do with your, this ain't got nothing to do with your belief. This ain't got nothing to do with your belief. I'm telling you what happened. Historically, you don't believe me? Good. Write it down and look it up. It's all on my channel as well with references, sources, primary sources. It's in my book also, primary sources. I tell you my sources. Right in the back of that book. It was told in reverse. You see that book right there? Right there. That's what it looked like. When you got the Nijis waiting for them white folks to come off the boat. And they, they right there waiting for them. That's the real deal. But they not going to want to tell you about the so-called slave masters not having any set skin complexion. They want to tell you that the slave masters had a set skin complexion. That way of the use of your imagination and conceptual arts that they put in front of you and made you believe. Before you were an adult, they did it when you were a child. Just like how they start people off in 
church. You go to Sunday school first. Classroom setting, study, it's the same thing. Do you know that existed before classrooms in public school? That's where they got that from. And they made you do a negative affirmation when you got in school. Before the school day started, you had to stand up and state a negative affirmation stating that you pledge your allegiance to their flag. That was their way of nationalism, letting you know that they taken your place. I got a video on that as well. The untold truth of the USA flag go on my channel. It's in full detail. You don't believe me? Good. Write it down and look it up. I be trying to tell him. Some people can't take it. But then I titled the video. Oh, yeah. Truth is not meant for everyone. Relax and take notes. Take notes. Take notes. It's not meant for everybody. For that reason. Because you put your faith or belief in front of. The truth. But you would not walk off a cliff in faith because you know the truth is if you walk off that cliff, you ain't a bird. You know the truth is you're going to be tumbling down. So you shouldn't just simply walk in faith. Can't do that alone and say, okay, that's it, y'all. This is it. This is the truth. You're flying blind. If anything, talk to the creator. Ask the creator to send not only protection, not only guidance, but direction. into your mind. Just like how you pray, stop using the term pray. Because it could mean both good and bad. Like when those molesters prey on children, I think that's a good way to say that you talking to the creator. Got to be careful with this language that you're speaking. They took a lot of this language from our ancestors, borrowed it and put it in a book, mixed it all up and say, here, this is Webster's English, uh, English language dictionary. You don't believe me. It's on my channel. The truth about the English language. They wanted to confuse you just like how some, I think it was in the Bible. They told you that they confused the tongues. <clears throat> oh, 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 they did more than just confusing the people by way of the tongue. But when you went church and you speaking tongue, you speak, your spirit is being outspoken and nobody else can hear you, but you or understand you, but you and the creator talk like that to the creator, but be specific. Ask for direction and knowing the truth and straight up state. I don't care if it's going to hurt. I want to know that's what I did. I'm speaking from experience. I know it work. I 
know a lot of people not gonna get that part, but I hope you do. We got work to do. They did a lot of manipulating and indoctrination, indoctrinating our people's mindsets and to believe whatever they wanted us to believe in order to take everything that we had. This is the reason why all those other people, the foreigners, even some people in South America be making fun of us, Cent Central and South America. They be making fun of us. Like, <laughs> y'all niggas don't even know who y'all are. Y'all think y'all African? How come we African and nobody else not? But then they turned around and told you that everybody is from Africa. Every How? When the out of Africa theory still 2023 has not been proven yet. And you still believe it. You still running with it. No, but Africa got the most beautiful women. Psh. You ain't been out your house. Don't get me wrong. Africa got some beautiful women. They do, you know, don't get me wrong, but uh, -uh. <laughs> you come to America. If you come to America, you go change them. You gay. Look, pick a beach, pick a beach. I dare you pick one, pick a beach. Don't go to the club. No, 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 no. Catch her when she ain't got no makeup on. Go to the beach. Don't go when she got makeup on. Uh-uh. Catch her when she ain't got no makeup on. No, don't get her when she enhanced and you, you like shh. And no, no, no. Catch her when she at the beach. Trust me. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's my wife right there. Excuse me. Hey, can you uh can I have a second with you? Like, yeah. I ain't going nah. <laughs> Woo! I'm just having fun. I I'm trying to, you know, lighten up the situation because I was talking about a serious matter. Y'all know how I do. I got to do that. Break the ice. Because that's a lot of serious stuff that happened to our people. Y'all got to understand how serious that stuff is. And the only way for you to know is for you to go find out. Like, I mean, it's okay. If you ain't got the time, that's what I'm here for. I'm here for that because the majority of you don't have time to go look stuff up. That's why I take my responsibility very serious. The way my ancestors told me what I had to do, it, it, as far as my duty, to me, I looked at that as the biggest task in the world besides being a husband and the father of my children. I said, man, look, I'm up for this. No matter what. And I'm not going to sell my soul for some money, for some whatever, you know, they try to throw at me. I'm not going to sell my soul for nothing. You hear me? Dane, why you not on this platform? Why you not on that platform? Because I'm not a Freemason. Because I'm not a Mason. And I don't want to be. I don't. I don't want to be down with Illuminati. I don't want to turn my back on my people. That's why. That's why you don't see me on the big this and the big that and the da 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 da. And nope. For what? But Dane. But you can reach out to more people. But there's a consequence with that, y'all. There's a consequence. So I have to choose wisely or where, you know, when I get my hair done up and get my beard and everything, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking and I get back in shape and stuff like that. And you see me on screen and you see me, you know what I'm saying? Doing an interview when I'm talking to somebody and then just know that that person was very trustworthy because <laughs> it's not going to be to a point where I'm just <laughs> popping up everywhere. left the right, like how the Masons do. Just to try to control the narrative. I'm not saying, listen, y'all, I know certain people like, well, Dane, I'm a Mason. I'm not saying all Masons are bad. I'm talking about your higher ups. 
the folks you probably never met that's behind the scenes puppeteering the puppets You got a problem with what I said? Go leave. <laughs> they go to the door. Bye bye. I'm like this in person. I'm like this on camera. You're not going to change me to your liking, to fit your narrative. Our people are owed way more than money, y'all. These are our lands. This is our island. The whole thing. I told you about that Statue of Liberty. Uh, how that was that bat signal. How that was that Batman signal. That Commissioner Gordon cut on the signal. Batman to come through. That was the foreigner signal to, hey, y'all, come on over here. Right here. No, 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 no. Right here, right here. Follow the light. Follow the transva. Uh, follow the. And you know what they have? They wanted y'all to say, they wanted y'all to say that that was a so-called black person. That's why I immediately hopped on that. Like, no, 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 don't, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Don't put that on us. Ah, no, 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 they call it an Egyptian fella. Remember when I told y'all don't, um, don't be like, what's up fellas? What's up ladies? Because a fella is both of them. Male and female. So that goes to show you what that was about. And you think it wasn't around back then? You got another thing coming and you know what I'm talking about. Peasant fella, peasant man or woman. No, 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 ain't black. You can go ahead and keep that. And you know it was it. Because as soon as they put that statue up, did a whole bunch of so called black people come through? It is. Oh, that's the light. Come on, let's go. Let's follow the light. Let's look at the symbolism. Nah, uh -huh. they ain't had nothing to do with us. They ain't had nothing to do with us. A whole Frenchman put that thing out there. And he just visited first time the United States. But don't forget he was a Freemason. Showed you that in the video too. A part of a certain particular society called the Franco American Society. All Freemasons. Think I'm playing? Rule This ain't no joke. That's why I said some of the Masons out there, y'all cool. Some of them, that ain't got no idea. But those that got the idea, you my enemy. You my people's enemy. How I know about it, I had to read the books. I had to pick these books up on these people that they wrote so I could know who they are, who they worship, 
What's their secret? Why is it so sacred? What's those? What's their secret? Why is it so sacred? What knowledge do they possess that's higher than others? Is this a brotherhood only? They got a sisterhood too. They get you to join in as soon as they feel as though you of being up to par, depending on where you at academically in college. Or if you are of high social influence, they might. Hey man, what's up? Not just college. It could be outside of college. They will try to recruit you. And them girl and, and Greek fraternities that y'all worshiping in college. And you, you, you almighty and yeah. I'm a part of sorority. I'm a part of fraternity. I'm a, but you think that make you great or make you greater because you down. with them name a fraternity or sorority that has donated to any black community right now. Any pick one. I wait. We got time. Go ahead. Pick one. Pick one. And speaking of that, speaking of black communities, the brother Ed Reed was just fired as the head coach. Some of y'all that's in fo into football, Ed Reed was just fired. What was it yesterday? As the head coach of a HBCU. And look, let me, let me point something out here. Y'all of a HBCU. Now, they always want our people to donate to HBCUs. So hear me out. If these HBCUs still looking ran down for all these years, where is that money going? Where is that money going? Because when Deion Sanders got to Jackson, see. As the head coach there, and he explained and showed us on camera that everything was out of order. Where is the money going that get donated to these HBCUs? And how come? And ain't nobody that's a Niji in charge. Y'all know about the history of HBCUs before they were called historically black, black colleges. What were they called? Let me, I'm gonna look in the chat before they were called HBCUs. Y'all, what were they called? That was, that was I hope people, I hope people, I hope people get this. Let's see. Uh, indoctrination centers close, <laughs> close. <laughs> nah, not Negro. Nah, not Negro at all. Nope. Nope, not. Oh, close. Normal schools is close, but what was it called, y'all? It's a, it's a word. Normal schools, that's very close. Nah, not industrial college, not church. Nah, not Indian schools. Some of them were Indian schools, but not that. There was a particular word. Not boarding schools. Nah, not Freedman schools, not reform schools, not universities. Nope. Not plantations. Nah, not charter. Charter came later. 
Not trade schools. Nope. Not concentration camps. All right. I'm going to give y'all like, no, not juvenile. I'm going to give y'all like 60 more seconds. Technical, uh, uh, agriculture close. Very, very close. Uh, uh, nope. Secondary, not vocational. Nope. Not trade, not boarding, not cardinal. Uh, uh, I know where you're going with that though. But it's a particular type of school. Hold on. Let me try to look up the date real quick. Give me one second. I'm gonna try to look up the date. Real quick. Hold on, I'm still looking up the date. Oh, not that. This it right here. Eight, okay, and dispatch, okay. Um, he gave. That's not it. Damn. All right. I thought I was going to be able to get it real quick. No, I'm coming. I'm pulling the chat back up now. Hold on. If y'all say it, say it again, y'all, because I might have missed it because I'm looking. I was looking for that exact date and I have it, but it's going to take me a second. Okay. Uh. Institute for Colored Youth. You right on it. You right on it. Um yes, Institute for Colored Youth, you right on it. Right on it, Baba Ross, and you too. That's like Yeah, I wanted to say 1856, but I think it was before that. Um dang, that went so fast. Somebody said 1856. I think it was before that, but I have it. But it, it's going to take me a second to pull that right back up. 
it's definitely I, I have it written down 1851 hold on don't 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 guess the dates because i don't want to be wrong Now, it's the, the Institute for Colored Youth is very, very close. In fact, let me make sure. I wish my wife was up right now because I think that's on her computer. Let me, let me double check real quick. Let me try one more time, y'all. And then And she gonna be mad if I call her right now. Mm. No, nah, not secondary learning. Not secondary learning. Y'all were close saying the color colored youth. What time is it? Let me oh she gonna be pissed if I call her right now. The Indian Removal Act was 1830. It was, man, y'all, oh my goodness. I'm so upset that I don't have that right in front of me now. It was a particular type of school. And I'm mad because I did all that and I wanted to make sure, because I know I have it, of the date, so y'all can look this up. Oh, I got an idea. Oh, this might be it. Hold up. No, nah, it's before 1877. No, nah, this is not it. It's before 1877. Okay, hold on. I'm close. I'm close. <clears throat> yes, I got it. All right. Now, all right. Hold on. Hold on. I got it. Thank God. <laughs> hold on. Let me get this. Uh.
There you go. 1820. 1820. All right. It says, I might have put this video out because apparently the way me and my wife wrote this. Hold on. I think we put this out. But the way, because the way we wrote this looked like it's complete. All right, hold on. Okay. I'm going to have to ask her. All right, so the institution uh, for the colored youth uh, was around the same time that they were implementing in the uh well no actually no it wasn't because the 1820s was a little bit before that this is around the implementation of the public school system coming from the churches first remember i did say that it was churches before the schools but before the public schools or the universities and it was the denominational schools now I think I have something stating that it started before 1820 as well, but I had to quickly look that up before I told you that was the de uh, denominational schools because I wanted to give you the exact date. But according to something that we wrote, I think we were touching on um, the way I was reading it. I think we were touching. I think that's the one in the USA flag documentary, the way the, the way it sounds. But the denominational schools were first. So technically they were like, somebody said churches, but in a way they were like church schools. Like that was the transition into learning religious belief. In fact, they have now similar type of things to denominational schools where they teach you about uh, becoming a minister or a pastor. But this was also implementing uh, like school curriculums as well back then. And it could have been before 1820 guys, but according to that particular one, it said 1820, but I got a feeling it was a little bit before that. Yeah, but denominational schools. So a lot of those, okay, to go back to my point, a lot of those uh, uh, HBCUs were denominational schools. Like keep in mind, even the Indian schools, like all of us were forced into religion to change our way uh, like our spiritualities, whatever we believed in, whatever we practiced, they had to give us both religion and their form of, you know, whatever curriculum they wanted to give us simultaneously. You understand what I'm saying? They did it in one house, all up under one roof. Certain universities were around, but even then, if you look at the universe, the majority of them were Catholic. Another denomination of the Christian faith or Christian society. Look that up. Denominational schools. Now, um, I didn't use Google or nothing. I was going through my notes. So you may, you may even find the date. Uh, before I can, because I don't, I mean, I thought I was gonna be able to grab it faster, but I mentioned denominational schools in a lot of my writings. So I thought it was just going to pop right up. Like if it was just particular, uh, like a particular segment that I already wrote, but it popped up in a lot of them. So I had to, I had to weave it out to try to figure it out. But one of them did say 1820s, but I have a feeling that it was before that. Oh, I thought that was my wife. I was about to get excited. <laughs> nah. Yeah, but, um, but yeah, that's what to go back to that. Yeah. A lot of those HBCUs were already, uh, owned and operated by a lot of religious societies still though, still. Okay but they want you to donate to them in a way what you're doing 
is putting your offering in the plate. <clears throat> I'm just saying. You know, and I appreciate those that were being patient in order for me to pull that up because I was trying to give you the exact date. And once again, I still don't think that that is the exact date. Uh, but it was early 1820 it was super early and I think it was even before that, but it was right before public schools came in, like as a public school only like the title public school denominational schools were already in play. Some of them were converted, but once again, you are doing a lot of stuff that was very similar inside of those Sunday schools inside of regular, you know, curriculum style schools, especially when it came to stating affirmations. For that, the flag was first. Remember how long it took them to get rid of that out of the schools where, where the students uh, couldn't pledge allegiance anymore? Look how long it took. Land Grant University. As far as what year? Hold on, let me look it up on my phone because I, I got a lot of stuff open. They came later, didn't they? Okay. All right, so the land, the land grant universities came in 1862. Now, it's odd because I think that's wrong also. I'm gonna have to look into this. I think that's wrong also. But keep in mind, that's not all of the universities though. The land grant universities in general, I think it was only like between like 16 to like 20 of them all, all across the United States. I think it was like, uh, yeah, about that. I think it's like between 16 and 20 of them. But once again, they were later. Remember when, um, when uh, Martin Luther King was telling you about the land grants and uh, how they, uh, he said, uh, y'all know how I repeat this all the time, but he was telling you about how they uh, mechanized the farms uh, by actually, you know, uh, putting out machines to do the work eventually. But before that, they hired our people to teach them how to farm. Then they created these land grant universities with government money to teach them how to farm. That's I, I think that's what he said. He said, uh, hold on. Yeah, then he hired county agents to further the expertise in farming. Not only that, yeah, I think that's what he said exactly. So he was, he was going in the order. If I'm not mistaken, I think he was going in the same order how it came down. But the land grants was before the 1860s. It started way before that. Um, and some of them weren't called land grants on top of that or land allotments. I did a video on that as well, too. That's on my channel. Also, actually, I think that's a three part series. If I'm not mistaken, because it was a lot of stuff I had to go over as far as the grants because or the, uh, the, uh, God damn it. The, um, not the grants, the, uh, the land acts. And uh, homestead, homestead acts. That's what I'm looking for. The homestead acts. It was pre it was it was definitely in the 1860s, but it was also before that. But they were just called something else. Don't get me involved in that, because then I'm gonna have to pull all that stuff back up and then show you tell you each one. But that is out though. That is on my channel. I do have that out right now. But yeah, they came in the 1860s. So prior to that. Okay, could keep in mind that was helping more foreigners coming in, learning how to farm to keep them, you know, keep themselves afloat. And keep in mind, there's another reason why you know you ain't come from Africa. 
Because if we were teaching them how to farm, who told us? If we were teaching them how to farm, who taught us? Can't a foreigner tell us how to farm in foreign territory to them? Because they don't know the environment. They don't know the environment. They coming over here, they don't even know if it's four seasons over here. They still learning it. We taught them. That's how you know we're indigenous to this land. And I dare you to point out a Native American farming. I dare you. You could point out American Indian all day long. Now you see them farming. I'm talking about as far as the Native American now. I'm talking about back then though. Point them out. They had to hire county agents as well. <laughs> they had to get taught also. We taught them how to survive. Once again, I put this in my book. They were begging for us to learn. I mean, for us to show them the way of how to survive out here. If it wasn't for us, they wouldn't be here living. Literally. That's why I said it's beyond. It's beyond paper money. Keep in mind the paper money ain't come to the 1900s anyway. As far as the Federal Reserve notes are concerned, I don't want no Federal Reserve note. I don't want no greenback. I only want no coins. You know what I want? The land. And we gonna have all, look at all these immigrants coming over here, y'all. Right now, who was that? Was that Tucker Carlson? I think that was Tucker Carlson saying the other day, I heard him say that in one month, 250,000 immigrants illegally in the United States. In one month, 250,000. And they living in, some of them living in hotels, and that's why we strapped out, 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 out here in Texas. They got rid of the law saying that, uh, you know, saying for the pistols, we don't have to have no license no more. I mean, of course, everybody had choppers out here, but I'm just saying now anything with a pistol grip, we don't gotta have a license. It's on deck. As soon as we see somebody, we're on the doof. This, well, hold on, hold on, do I have it on here? It's this. Sniper! As soon as we see him. But, uh, and they tell us, and they don't get off the property? If they, if they don't get off the property, you, it's fair game. I'm not about to throw no bread out there like you some type of bird. It's gonna be sniper! Immediately. And they call, hey, come pick them up. Yeah, some immigrant got through. That's how they going out here. And on top of that, uh, who was that? The DC mayor? <laughs> The, the, uh, the te who was that? I think it was the Texas governor that sent the whole bus load of them to DC and they putting them in hotels. Was it DC or New York? Putting them in five star hotels and the hotel people complaining. They complaining like they running it down. They, they tearing their hotels up. He said some people was beating their women. This is on the Tucker Carlson where I got this from. The guy, they, because they were interviewing the guy uh, that was uh, some employee or something like that that was working at the hotel, stating that they were beating their women, crying and screaming, children running everywhere, they smoking weed, snorting crack, or coke, rather. It, it's all over the place. But, um... Uh, Y'all better be strapped up wherever y'all at.
Ain't that crazy? In one month, 250,000. In one month. So the next month, another 250,000? So you're about to have a million immigrants in four months. I wonder how much came through already. And I dare you to name any one of them that... Name one. Show me somebody that's getting... <laughs> Did they get that? Were they required to get that? No, don't forget, I told you in one of my videos in the, in, in the, not too long ago that anyone that's coming over here seeking asylum... Listen, anyone that's coming over here seeking asylum... They don't have to follow general immigrant restrictions. All you got to do is say you're seeking asylum. So you coming over here scot-free. What? If I was an immigrant, I'm coming too. Are you mean to tell me I ain't got to pay for nothing? Wait a minute, hold on, y'all Y'all going through a crisis. Shh, I'm on the way. Thank the creator, I ain't going through that type of situation. And as soon as they, you know, as soon as they start counting these immigrants and everything like that, and which they are, don't forget, they are going to count them because they want to make sure the population of so-called white is sky high and make pretend like they're the majority but they calling, they calling people <laughs> that's of color white. Just to make their numbers look good. Knowing that they a dying breed. Whole time. And that's not even funny. I did a video on that too. That's on the channel right now. Everything I'm saying is on my channel. Just in case you think I'm talking some BS. I got everything backed up. They are a damn breed. White folks. No joke. They are the minority. White folks. No joke. Right now. Right now. This is the reason why you ain't see the 2020 census numbers. Because they ain't want to show you that they were the majority, I mean minority, right now. And remember when Biden said by 2040 something? Nah, it's right now. They are the major minority, excuse me. They are the minority right now. That's why they opened up the borders. That's why they opened up the borders. They bringing more foreigners in. Come on. We got to slap white on y'all. Hurry up and get together. They go wait till Biden leave until somebody else come in. And then all of a sudden, we, you, 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 the uh, population of white went up. As far as the numbers are concerned on the census, all of a sudden, out the blue. Well, I mean, our numbers gradually. I'm talking about white people. I'm talking about actual so-called Caucasians, right? European, African, you name it, right? I'm talking about it's more of them dying than being born. Right now, that's no, there's no joke. You can look this up. More of them dying than being born. So by the time the 2020 sisters came around, they started being strict. They said, all right, if you consider yourself white, where you from? You also got to put down where you from. So where the numbers ain't come out? Because we would have known where everybody else was from and where the, where the Caucasians was from. One. Two, you would have seen them numbers go. Ugh. They ain't put those out yet. 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 You still ain't see those numbers yet. No, but they got the numbers for us. They got the numbers for us. But we ain't got the numbers for them. You know what they're going to do? Go back to uh, 2010 census. Add 5 million of that and say, here go the number, y'all. And y'all go fall for it.
We got work to do. We've been letting them get away with so much for so long. And all, all those brothers and sisters out there that's actually trying to fight for reparations and, you know, thinking that we owe something. You're right. We are owed something. But now it's time to fight for more than just reparations because that hasn't worked since 1989. The government is not going to admit. Listen, listen. Hold on. The government is not going to admit to their wrongdoing. That's the first thing that got, and I'm talking about federal. Forget what California doing. That's for the glitz and glamour. That's to pull you into a trap and claim that you black and African-American, which has no nationality, nor standing in law. That's not a nationality, nor does it have any standing in law. So you can make yourself an undocumented immigrant. And remember what happened with DACA? I did a video on that too. You're going to make yourself an undocumented immigrant. Then all of a sudden, if they do end up kicking all these immigrants out, guess what? You gone too. What black land you going to go to? What African-American land are you going to go home to? Talking about some Africa, the motherland. Go ahead then. What part of Africa? You playing games. Talking about some Africa, the motherland. Meanwhile, your whole entire bloodline was born here. Born here. You could go visit their graves right now. Here. You can't call nobody in Africa that's in your family, not a buddy. Oh, I made some friends. I made some friends in Africa when I visited. I bought some property. I, I'm, I'm now a resident of Africa. Why are you still here? Like not one person that got a YouTube channel right now, for example, right? They'll always be like, Dane is wrong. Dane is this and Dane needs to apologize. Dane needs to stop lying to black people. About what? You mad because I'm calling y'all out by just putting out the truth. Inadvertently, I'm calling y'all out. Because I'm not even directing at y'all. I'm directing it to my people. Look, we've been lied to. And all these other people that got YouTube channels behind, you know, surrounding Africa this and Africa that, blah, 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 blah. They just getting paid from it. That's all. They in it for a check. Like all that merchandise stuff that they was putting out, them fake dashikis and the, all that stuff that they was wearing, trying to make it look nice. And, and you got the little, uh, little African little chain and, uh, and all of them start gravitating towards the all C and I, then they, then they started gravitating towards the pyramid. Oh, because the pyramids was a Kimmy made you wear that too. You ain't even know what you was doing. You was just doing it, following the trends. Peace, brother. Peace, brother. Peace. 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 That's what you want. You want peace. All right. So the only time peace come is after a war. Show me the war. And I'll give you peace. I'm going to tell you when the war should have happened. 1921, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Should I go any further? You know, the same people that were children back then are in their 80s and 90s right now. And the governor or whoever out there in Oklahoma trying to shut them up from talking. About what happened in Tulsa, Oklahoma? U.S. Army planes was flying over people's houses at night, dropping bombs on our people's houses. The reason why I know is because that was the Greenwood District. That was a prospering so-called black community where we weren't even called black then. 
They called us Negro then. They, the white people made fun of it and called it Little Africa after they dropped bombs on it and was nothing but debris. When it was nothing but, I'm gonna calm down, when it was nothing but debris. I want you to show me peace after this war, after it's a war. That should have happened right then and there. Right then and there. And they knew it was gonna happen. Hold on, don't get me wrong. I got a video on that on my channel as well. They knew it was gonna happen. They sent the militia in the next morning. Cause they knew we was fighting back. But we didn't have a militia. You talking about a community at that time. They had pistols. They tried to do that thing. But it was them versus a militia. That strapped up, strapped up. Coming through with machine guns on trucks. Shooting in people's houses. They ain't care if the children was in there. Nigga, let that happen today and watch what happened. I swear to God. What? And the government, and look, the government ain't do a thing about that. And you wanna hang, you, 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 can we get $5 million? After what they did? And they shut up on that. They ain't saying nothing. They made sure that wasn't even in the schools being taught. They ain't wanna teach the children. Now I had to wait till I become a teenager to find that out. I was a teenager finding that out. I almost thought it wasn't true. I was like, what if, what? How, how? Yeah, that was true. But no, you ain't nobody bringing that up when it comes to the reparations argument. And you think it was just Tulsa? Well, how you think they gentrified and redlined are areas that were prospering in every single state. They dropped dynamite and built railroads and interstate highways over it. I did a video on that too. How you think them interstates got out there? By the grace of God? <laughs> huh? We gonna get them niggas up out of there by bombing it and putting a whole interstate through it. What? Ask Durham. Durham, North Carolina, they were the first one that had a prosperous community before Tulsa, Oklahoma. Durham, North Carolina was the very first Negro Wall Street that was coined by Booker T. Washington. He a traitor. He was an informant, spy sent in there to go send that back to the government. Hey, them niggas over there, hey, they, they millionaires. They doing their thing, they prospering. Um, Here goes some pictures. I sat down and ate dinner with them and everything. They invited me. You know, I got to see the, 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 the glitz and the glamour, the shows that they were putting on. They were having a ball down there. Yes, master, I'll do anything. You want me to go down to another one? Okay, I'll go down to Tulsa too and I'll do the same thing. That's what he was there for. Soon as they bomb Tulsa, they take a picture and slap little Africa on it. And it looked like a goddamn war zone. That was a slap in the face. It looked like a third world country. Ain't nothing there the same. The government ain't pay for that. And that lady, and I did a video on her twice. I forgot how old she is. She in her eighties, probably 90 by now. They trying to push her away, push her away, but she got lawyers and everything behind her. She wanted the children that were, that, that was the children at that time when that was happening. She knew it to a T you hear me or what the hell happened? Heard the planes and everything. 
and she was probably up under a couch somewhere hiding. And the government turned in the other cheek. Just, just let that go. Let that go. Huh? Anytime we bring up a problem, they want us to let that go. Anytime we bring up, you know, something that's racist, oh, don't make it about race. It's not about race, but the mistreatment. Yeah, but you 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 getting it, it's you getting better treatment now, but yeah, oh, 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 it it's better now, but it ain't equal. It's not equal. Still, that's the whole problem. Why are you being treated better than me? Who died and made you my God, nigga? But y'all want reparations. The reason why I said the land is more important because there go your reparations. Don't they chop trees down to make money? You can't grow a tree without land. Huh? <laughs> Wake up. I love y'all. We still got work to do. I'll be back a little later on. I love y'all. Thank you all for the support. I don't know who donated. I didn't even get a chance to see. Thank you all that donated. Thank you all that uh, became members. Thank you all that subscribed. What I really need y'all to do, I ain't even, I don't care about the comments, the likes. Share. Share the video. Share. You don't got a comment. You don't got a like. Share it. All the videos on my channel and you learn something, share it. Somebody else can learn something. They putting all this other bull crap in front of our people to distract us. Meanwhile, we need to get educated on what happened to us in the past so we can correct those mistakes right now in the present so we can have a better future. Just share it. That's all I ask. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Y'all have a good one. I'm going to see y'all later on, okay? I love y'all. Wado.